Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So now we are going to study about the uh, notation of the F distributions and we are going to study about some facts regarding the F distribution. Okay, so this is what we are going to study. So I would do out one thing, I would just take out a color here so that I could put on the heading. So here goes the heading, that's my notation for F and here goes distribu distribution, okay? So distribution, great. So here we have the notation for the F distribution. So we'll be seeing that how we denote out the and how we just put on the F distribution, what's the notation for that, like what symbols we use and all those things, okay? So yeah, uh, here what I'm going to do is start, I'm going to start up writing out here the notation the notation for the notation for the f distribution the notation for the f the notation for the f distribution is what's the notation for the f distribution that is f approximately equal to f in the denominator we have df that's the degree of freedom here we have numerator okay numerator uh, right here putting out a comma and again we have degree of freedom and next we are having here the denominator denom fine so this is how we are having out here the notation for the f distribution is f approximately equal to fdf and basically uh, fdf we have here the numerator and for fdf again for that df again we have the denominator fine now, what are these particular things all stands for? So, let's start writing out here. So, I would start writing out here that where, where DF num, the degree of freedom and the num is basically the uh, numerator, okay? Degree of freedom numerator is equal to DF and here goes the between, okay? And what about the denominator which we are having? Let me just get down here and degree of freedom that is df denom, d-e-n-o-m, that is basically the denominator. So the degree of freedom denominator is equal to df within. Within is one another type. Remember we had to deal with the uh, between and within both, right? In that uh, similar case, I have this df num that is equal to df between and df denom is equal to df within. Okay, now next we are having regarding the mean. So the mean, the mean for the, the mean for the f distribution, the mean for the f the mean for the f distribution is now what's the mean for the f distribution uh, let me get down here the mean for the f distribution is mu is equal to d we have here numerator d numerator df okay here the f has so df numerator divided by df denom that is basically the denominator subtracted by one so this is the basically the formula for the mean for the f distribution that again i would repeat it out it's mu is equal to degree of freedom numerator divided by degree of freedom denominator minus one now next we are having that what are the facts about the f distribution right what are the facts regarding the f distribution so i would put on the now heading again here so that goes Facts about facts about the F distribution. So here goes the heading. Facts about the F distribution. Fine. So I'm gonna take out uh, again uh, one of the colors here so that I could proceed on with the writing. Great. So now we will be discussing about some facts about the F, F distribution. So it start out here. So the very first one is the curve regarding the curve. Okay. So the curve is not symmetrical. Is not the curve is not symmetrical. Symmetrical, but but is skewed. The curve is not symmetrical, but is skewed to the right to the right 
so it means that the curve which we are having here for uh, in the f distribution that is not symmetrical but it is skewed towards the right okay moving forward we have number 2 and that is there is a there is a different curve so there is a there is a different curve there is a different curve for each set of for each set of ds that is there is a different curve for each set of degrees of freedom okay coming down we have the next point that's the third point or you could even say that is the third fact right whatever you just wish out fine so for the number third what we are having here for the number third we are having that the if statistic the if a statistic the if the statistic is greater is greater than is greater than or is greater than or equal to 0 so the if the statistic is greater than or equal to 0 okay this is the next point next we have number 4 here so next fact goes that as the as the degrees of freedom as the degrees of freedom as the degrees of freedom for the numerator for the numerator i will just put on like this okay so as the degrees of freedom for the numerator and for the denominator and and for the denominator as denom like this okay as the degrees of freedom for the numerator and for the denominator get larger get larger the curve uh let me get down here as the degrees of freedom for the num and for the denominator for the numerator and for the denominator get larger the curve the curve approximates the curve approximates the normal the curve approximates the normal fine so as the degrees of freedom for the num and for num for the numerator and for the denominator get larger the curve approximates out the normal right this is another fact regarding the facts about the f distribution fine now Mm, what do we have we have uh, we have I, i would say we have a sort of graphs as well here which helps us to display out some information right here as well okay now as i mentioned about the skewness of the graph and everything let me take the cursor in hand and i would oh, one second right here okay i told you that the curve is not symmetrical but skew towards the right right that particular thing i mentioned to you so it means that the curve which we are having that is not symmetrical the the one the curve which we get out as an output that's not at all symmetrical okay it, it is basically skew towards the right as uh, towards the right direction it is skewed a uh, little more okay so for each and every set of different different de degrees of freedom for each and every set of ds we have out a different curve so as soon as the set of the degrees of freedom values change and in that particular case as well the shape of your curve will as well change out right so hope i am pretty much clear with all of these particularly things which i mentioned regarding uh here this for this particular f distribution right so i am clear with the fact and even with the notation as well so now we'll be meeting in the next video so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care